Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A23 versus the Samsung Galaxy A13 and the A13 is powered by Samsung Exynos 850 processor with a 6GP of RAM while the Samsung A23 is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 680 processor with a 6GP of RAM. And both phones has a quad camera on the back. We have a 50 megapixel main camera with a 5 megapixel ultra wide with a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. While on the A23, we also have a 50 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilization. Also, we have 5 megapixel ultra wide with a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And you can see on the A13, it does not have any camera bump on the back. While the camera bump, it is here on the Samsung A23. So I like the look of the A23 as compared to the A13, honestly. And the back on both phones is made up of plastic. And the frame also is made up of plastic. And the A23 has a more boxier look as compared to the A13, which has a rounded sides. On the bottom, we also have a headphone jack on both these devices but we have single speaker on both phones. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how it's the Snapdragon 680 is stacked up against the Exynos 850. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it. Now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Here we go. Logo is came up first, a little more faster on the Samsung 823. Both phones is running on Android 12 with Samsung One UI version 4.1 versus Samsung One UI version core 4.1. Let's see who's going to be the fastest one. Samsung A23 is more faster when it comes to booting up, while the A13 is taking a lot of time. Now the A13, it is also done and you can see about a five or six second difference there between these two devices. Now let's talk about the displays between these two devices and both phones has a 6.6 inch Full HD Plus PLS LCD display. And the difference is that we have 60 Hz refresh rate on the A13 versus a 90 Hz adaptive 90 Hz on the Samsung A23, which automatically switch between from 60 to 90 only. Both phones also has a water top notch on the top Infinity V display. And the bezels, it is a little bit more smaller on the A23, obviously. So now let's see apps opening speed. Everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. So now let's start off with the phone dialer. More faster on the A23. Opening up settings. Again faster on the A23. Now let's go to the display. And you can see we have an adaptive 90Hz refresh rate on this phone. 60Hz on the Samsung A13. So now let's check out some more application. Opening up Amazon shopping. We have Snapdragon 680 versus Exynos 850 huge faster on the Samsung 823 as you can see so now let's see the scrolling and that is face more smoother on the 823 because we have 90 Hertz versus a 60 Hertz so now let's open this again faster on the 823 so now let's check out some games application let's see that how much difference between a Snapdragon 680 versus Exynos 850 Opening up the Candy Crush Sega, way faster on the Samsung A23 and you can see A13 is taking a lot of time. So here is the A13 looks like with max volume and here is the A23 looks like with max volume. Yes, the speakers is more better on the Samsung A23 as compared to the A13 speaker. Instagram, faster on the A23. Let's see pin out. Pin out is faster on the Samsung A23 as compared to the Samsung A13. Opening up Snapchat, faster on the A23. Spotify, Spotify is very similar. Let's see Subway Surfer. In the game app loading time, we have a more difference as compared to before. And the Snapdragon 680 is showing its performance against the Exynos 850. 823 is done, while the Samsung 813 is taking a lot of time. Now the Samsung 813, it is also done. And you can see we have a 4 or 5 second difference there. Opening up the Temper N2. And that is faster 
again on the Samsung A23 huge faster there and you can see A13 is way behind A23 is super super fast A13 now it is also done as well we have a 6 or 7 second difference there now let's opening up the PUBG mobile and the PUBG is faster on the Samsung A23 yes it is A23 is super super fast and you can see while the A13 is taking a lot of time and you can see in the PUBG mobile we have a more second difference but we have smooth graphics with high frame rate on both phones we have 8 or 9 second difference there in the PUBG mobile opening time opening up the tutor and that is faster on the A23 Zedge and that is faster on the A23 as compared to the A13 so now let's see the scrolling and that is more smoother on the A23 while on the A13 we have lags not on 60 Hertz but the A23 it is on 90 Hertz all the time so last time launching the cameras on both phones default camera application now let's see who's going to be the fastest one and the A13 is more faster as compared to the A23 we have optical image revelation on this phone so now let's look at the front camera here is a surface camera looks like on both phones and the front camera I would say it is more sharper on the A23 but but you can see we have a warmer look on the Samsung A13 which I prefer over a cool tone on the Samsung A23 okay guys now let's see internet browsing speed I am using to follow Samsung internet browser on both phones so opening up Wikipedia with same Wi-Fi network A23 is a tiny bit more faster so now let's see the scrolling huge lag on the A13 in the start as well as on the A23 but more smoother on the A23 also you can see in the video you can see the flickering effect on the A23 which is not really available in the real life so keep that in mind now let's open English very similar let's see the scrolling more smoother so now let's open up apple.com apple.com is faster on the A23 so now let's see the scrolling again same result more smoother on the A23 but on the A13 little lags after some time so now let's check out RAM management both phones has a 6 GB of RAM now let's see that who is perform good in the RAM management phone dialer settings and UI it is also feels more stable and smoother on the A23 Amazon shopping refresh on the A13 let's see Candy Crush Saga refresh on the A13 Instagram no refresh let's see pin out no refresh snapchat seems like in-app refresh only let's see Spotify no refresh subway suffer let's see Tampa Rent 2 let's see PUBG Mobile opening up the tutor Zedge last way back to the internet browser which we left and you can see and cast over up to say regarding the apps opening speed as you can see that and the Samsung Galaxy A23 is a more faster it's a simple application as well as in the game app loading time you can see in the PUBG mobile we have huge difference between these two devices in terms of the RAM image wise and the Samsung A23 is performing incredible in the RAM management not a single refresh on this phone while on the A13 we have a lot of refresh also now let's talk about the battery sizes and both phones has a massive 5000 mAh battery size with a 15 watt fast charger but both phones also support 25 watt so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A23 versus the Samsung Galaxy A13 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.